Welcome. In this video we are going to extend the Spring Authorization Server with rotating keys. To keep it clear and simple we are going to spread the explanation out over several videos. We start with the code in Eclipse. In the resource directory, the private and public keys have been deleted. In the application YAML file, the references to these keys have also been deleted. And in the security config class we have removed all unnecessary methods. The customize method has also been removed. Now we come to the new code, we have a total of 7 new classes. We start with the RSA key pair repository interface. We have here a record RSA key pair with the ID created public key and the private key and further the methods find key pairs delete and save. The next class is the implementation of this interface. In this video we use a in-memory repository. We store the keys in a map and configure the methods. Find key pairs. We sort the list of keys so that we always use the newest key. And further we have delete and save. The next class is the RSA key pair repository JWK source. Here we configure the JWK source and the customizer. In the customizer, we implemented the code from the security config class to pass the roles along with the tokens and to pass the latest key. In the JWK source, we create a list of all keys. In the keys class we create new keys, we use roughly the same way here as in the previous videos. In the key config class we create two beans. Nimbus JWT encoder and OAuth2 token generator. The init RSA key pairs we use at the startup of the server. We use the application runner here to create one pair of keys. And finally we have the key controller. Here we configure an endpoint to create additional keys. The Angular app code has been slightly modified. We have added one new button to create new keys. In the TS file we see the code for this new button. I also want to mention that it is important to start the Angular app with the command ng serve host equals to 127.0.0.1. We have launched all the apps and can now look at the results. If we click on view JWKS we will see one key. This was created when we started our project. We can now log in with user and password. We can now click on create new keys and get to see the ID of this new key. If we now click view JWKS we get a list of keys with the new key at the top of the list. Now when a new user wants to log in it will use the new key. This was it for the first part about rotating keys. In the next video we are going to store the keys in a database so that we can reboot the server so that the keys are not lost. And in a third part we will encrypt the keys for an extra layer of security. Thanks and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos.